right, what's going on guys? So welcome to this video. Today is gonna be a pretty chill vlog. I just wanted to pick the camera up today and vlog. Right now we're about to actually run over to the post office. I have to drop off some supplements because I did a giveaway and I think it was two videos ago, I did a giveaway. I said if you comment in the first 100 comments, you get a chance to win some supplements. Basically, I have a shit ton of supplements at my house right now because I'm going to be working with a new supplement company soon. Now, that kind of warrants a little bit of an explanation because you guys have known me to always work with my protein. So, very briefly, I stopped working with my protein about two months ago. I've been in contact with some other companies since then because I signed with my protein about maybe like two years ago. I signed with them when I first started getting into the industry. So I didn't really have too many options of companies to work with. They were one of the first companies that reached out to me and I was just so excited that a company wanted to actually work with me that I took um, the deal, I took the sponsorship with them. Now they have incredibly good supplements. I have nothing bad to say about the company. Uh, I still stand by the fact that the supplements are really good quality. Now. The thing that I didn't really like about my protein was just the fact that it's such a massive company and to me it didn't feel like there was much of a family vibe like I have with Gymshark. So the, the new supplement company that I'm going to be working with that you guys will see in the next few weeks, I'm going to be taking a trip out to California and yeah, I'm going to be documenting the whole experience, signing my new contract with the new company that I'm working with, which I'm really, really, really excited to share with you guys, and I know you guys are going to love this company. I'm at the point now where if I'm going to work with a company, I want it to be a company that all the people behind the company I know and I like, and I can directly you know, be in contact with people that are high up in the company when I have you know serious things that I want to talk about or I want to get done. It's really kind of hard with my protein because like I said, they're such a big company and they're actually owned by another company that's even bigger. So the person that I was in contact with didn't really have much say in things that we did. He would have to, you know, talk to someone else that was ahead of him and that person would have to talk to someone ahead of them and it would just it was that type of thing so yeah no bad blood with my protein but I just wanted a more family oriented company but yeah anyways we're gonna go over to the post office I'm gonna mail out the supplements to my dude who won the giveaway shout out to you bro if you're watching the video and guys we're gonna be doing a lot more giveaways in the future Gymshark giveaways my new supplement sponsor giveaways which I'm not gonna announce yet um, some Hoovaloo giveaways which I am rocking some Hoovaloo jeans right now well, you can buy if you guys want to pick some up and yeah that was horribly cringy so we're just gonna cut it right here i don't know we'll see let's just see how the day plans out i'm gonna shut up let's go all right mom i know you're a little bit camera shy but how much money did you have to spend back in the day on all my supplements i had to buy your supplements all right yeah so like my mom just said she used to buy pretty much all my supplements or if i got money from like relatives or whatever or when i had a summer job i would spend money on supplements literally would waste, not waste, but spend like $250 every like two or three months. Half the money was wasted because I was I would buy a bunch of stuff I didn't actually need. But yeah, I know how much it costs for you guys to buy all this stuff. So maybe one day, maybe just maybe guys, you'll be able to get it for free if you continue to work hard and you get a supplement sponsorship. But I know you guys is pain, man. I used to have to buy all this stuff and it was brutal. Alright guys, so I just got done with shipping the package and it was $135 to ship the package from the east coast of America to Ireland where my dude is at. So bro, enjoy your supplements. Guys, I gotta tell you, the next giveaway winners are most likely gonna be from the United States because it's significantly cheaper obviously to ship. When you have to ship overseas, over the Atlantic, shit is hell expensive. Yeah, right now we're gonna go grab some food, so let's go do that right now. I'm absolutely starving right now. Alright, so as you guys can see, I picked up some Chinese food. Now, I'm going to be cutting in the next like month and a half, two months, like around mid-May is when I'm going to start my cut. Don't know exactly, but around that time. So I'm trying to enjoy some of the foods that I really, really like, and I'm not going to be able to eat on my cut. So lately, I've been kind of eating like a fat ass, but towards the end of my bulk, I'm okay with eating a really lot of food and basically just trying to get as strong as humanly possible right before I cut because I know I'm going to lose a little bit of strength on some of my lifts and I know it's going to suck not being able to eat the foods that I like. But another thing I wanted to say is, but another thing I want to say is me and Dave are going to be getting a training session in soon, probably at Attilus, but 
Dave is gonna get his membership back at Island, I'm pretty sure, guys. So he's gonna talk to the owner. A lot of you guys know he got kicked out of Island Gym a while ago, which is the gym that we first started lifting at. And it's just a dope gym, guys. Like, it's literally our home. It's our home gym. It's the first gym that we started going to. So we're gonna start making some videos together again in that gym, which will be super awesome, super hyped for that. But yeah, me and Dave are gonna be getting that training session in. You guys did smash the like button double the amount of times that I said you had to smash it for me to do video with Dave raw training style. But anyways, I'm gonna kill this food right now, guys. It looks amazing. And then potentially play some Fortnite with Charlie Coker, Max Tuning, and, I, and Cornelius. He just called me and told me that he might be playing with them. I guess he might have spoke to them or something like that. I suck at Fortnite, so if I do play with those guys, they're probably gonna, probably gonna roast me, but. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this food, play some Fortnite, and then I'll see you guys for my pre-workout meal. All right, what's going on, guys? So it's the next day from the last clip you guys saw because yesterday I just decided to hit arms. I didn't really have that much time to go to the gym, and I was there with my other friend. He had a time limit, so today we're here with Cornelius, and we're about to hit some deadlifts today. Corn hasn't been deadlifting recently, so we're about to fucking snap him back into shape. But today we're gonna be doing three sets of five. Now, I'm not running a program right now, but I'm about to start running the program that Dave just came out with, the DUP program, like sometime next week, so I'll bring you guys through that. But yeah, today, three by five, we'll try to get like something around five plates, so let's do it. All right guys, I haven't deadlifted in pretty much like two weeks due to the Thailand trip and everything like that. So yeah, everything feels super rusty right now, but we're gonna try five plates anyway and hopefully we don't snap our shit. I probably am gonna snap my shit today. All right guys, quick little weigh-in. Weighing in. All right guys, so I'm gonna weigh myself right now because I honestly I haven't weighed myself on a proper scale in a while. I'm pretty sure my scale at home is like off. I just made the settings pretty fucked up. So we're gonna see my way right now on the scale. You know Hopefully I'm like thing? around 190. Yeah, well, I'm like 188 right now. And I've only eaten like one meal today and like no shoes on. So in the morning, I would say I'm probably around 185, 187 on an average Let's day. That's what I am. It's not bad. Is this 315 gonna be heavy, dude? Probably. Banana back, corn's back, baby. Banana back. How's it feel? Okay. It's Why haven't you been deadlifting recently? Uh, my back. Oh, uh, I heard that one before, bro. Yeah, I have. Yep. All right, guys, so I actually almost forgot to show you guys the new belt that is going to be dropping uh, April 10th. So I have the final drop date. It's going to be April 10th that my new belts are going to be coming out. So I wanted to show you guys this belt. Now, this is not the final belt. Um, there's a few adjustments that we made to the actual final copies. So for those of you guys asking, number one, the belt is going to be from waist sizes 26 to 34 so if you're in those waist sizes you're in the clear now all of the belts are actually lever belts so none of them are prong now what a lever is in my opinion they're way better which is why i made them lever belts but um you literally just clip it in right here boom and then you slide it right over like that and when you're walking around not doing your set you can literally just keep the belt like this keep it around your waist and then when you're about to go you just latch it over now basically what differs uh from this from an inzer belt is the fact that I made this app right here. Um, they're also significantly cheaper. They're gonna be $60. That was pretty much the best price that I could do because it actually costs a good amount of money to actually make these belts. Um, but we also have made Stark right here, which means made strong in Swedish. So yeah, guys, I'm super happy with the quality of these belts. I'm gonna start using my belt once the new belt comes in that has the new adjustments to it, which are basically going to be, this is gonna be a little bit shorter and we're gonna have more holes right here because there weren't enough holes to make the belt small enough. Um, so that was really the only adjustment that we made to the final copy is making it uh, go a lot smaller and shortening it just a little bit. Yeah, I'm still gonna use it today because I actually left my Enzo belt at home. I had this in my bag, so I'll show you guys how it works. I'm not trying to own you I 
just wanna know what it feels like to have your body so close. Let me absolve you of the past that controls you. I just wanna know what you look like without a weight on your soul. I know somewhere we could get away. If you wanna find another place, love Disappear and never leave a trace I'll take you anywhere you want So let me disarm you There's an army I'm fighting around your heart Let me disarm you Cause baby, I just wanna love who you really Me how do I get my traps so big? I literally just do shrugs twice a week. I do one type of variation or another. Um, I don't really go super heavy anymore because I'm not trying to get my traps that much bigger, but I usually do super high reps now. So we're gonna do three sets, like 50 reps on two plates. And my recommendation if you're trying to get some big ass boulder olive oil traps is to train your traps on barbell shrugs and just every single workout you can, just increase the weight. Like do a three by 10, do two plates um, your first workout, Two plates and a 10, 275, and just keep going from there. That will grow your traps. Three That's what I did. 50? Yeah, I'm doing three sets of 50 Ooh. on two plates. Go. Nice. Boys, I do not want to do three sets of 50 percent. Two hours later. 40 will have to do. Brutal.